Is the report of the committee that inquired into the brawl in Parliament presented their report to the Speaker today. Chairman of the committee, Deputy Speaker Ananda Kumar Siri, said that the Speaker will send the report to the Attorney General. The AG's advice will be sought on the future course of action against the MPs who have been accused in the report. The report has implicated parliamentarians representing the United People's Freedom Alliance, the United National Party and the Janata Vimukti Paramuna. The Speaker appointed this committee under the chairmanship of Deputy Speaker Ananda Kumar Siri to look into the brawls that took place inside the parliamentary chambers on the 15th, 16th and 17th of November. Under the Act, we have submitted a report on those who interrupted the Speaker in performing his duties. There is no room for punishments to be meted out here. The Honourable Speaker will examine it and take a decision on the matter. We have named all of them. Tension erupted in Parliament on the 14th of November after Tamil National Alliance MP M.A. Sumandiran presented a motion to suspend all standing orders. Your attention, Honourable Speaker, to standing order 135 and I am moving that the standing orders be suspended for today's sitting and as you can see, if, there is, if this is moved by somebody other than a minister of the cabinet of ministers, it shall be decided by a division in the house. So as I move that the standing orders be suspended for the day. When you point a finger at somebody, they don't realize there's only one finger pointed at the other side, but there are three fingers pointed at yourself. This is exactly what has happened to the UN. It's up to the parliament to have committees and then probe into it and if uh, disciplinary action has to be taken, well, it has to be taken. Why did, why did such a brawl take, take place? When the Speaker of the House ignored not only the present of the House, we also ignored the past leader of the House, Lakshman Kiriyal, and in an indirect way, accepted Mr. Suvandiran as leader of the House. Mr. Suvandiran played the role of the leader of the House, which, which is not acceptable to Parliament. When such things happen, naturally, uh, uh, parliamentarians tend to behave in a manner uh, that is not suitable for Parliament. But it is the Speaker's decision to accept Mr. Sumandiran as the unofficial leader of the House that led to all these things. Then, then see what happened, what, what happened after that. Mr. Sumandiran, he, he proposed that the, all the standing orders be suspended and, you, and we, have, we have known in the history of this country there, there, is, not only one, not, not, there is not a single location where all the standing orders of the parliament are suspended. You have to get up and say that these, these sections of standing orders are suspended and then 20 members get up and accept it. But here he got up and said that all the standing orders be suspended. How can the parliament run? Parliament run on standing orders. Here Mr. Sumandira runs the show. I mean if you talk about the brawl, take action against the people, people you want to take action, but they also take action against the people who are the cause of the brawl. The UNP has a official Prime Minister called Mr. Anwar Kamsinga, but the unofficial Prime Minister's role is played by Mr. Sumandira. Another incident that caught the spotlight was the manner in which TNA MP M.A. Sumandiran prevented Lakshman Kiriyalla from requesting for a vote by name to be conducted. Has information on these incidents that led to the brawl in Parliament been included in the report handed over to the Speaker today? The people are watching as to if the committee has looked into the allegations levelled against the conduct of the Speaker in Parliament at that time. However, the general public are unsure as to if this report will also be swept under the carpet, much like the report on the central bank bond scam, which was prevented from entering the public domain after it was sent to the Department of National Archives. Will parliamentarians elected by the people's vote and funded by taxpayer rupees take action against themselves and against their violations of discipline? The people are watching.